Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of integrals. And if I talk about the question which is given to us here from this topic of integration, the question tells us that limits from zero to two mod of mod of x minus one minus x dx is equal to, we have been asked the value to find out. And if I talk about the answer choices that we have here, the answers are one, the other option 1.5, third option three, and the fourth option given to us is four. So we need to figure out which one of the answer choices is the correct answer for the question given to us. So if I figure out the value of the integral, before that, if I use the idea of the concept of absolute values, mod, if I see inside the smaller one, you have the expression as x minus 1. So if I take the inner function, let's say this is g of x. So if I solve for it, to understand the signs when it becomes positive and when does it become negative, I'll equate this x minus 1 with 0. So that gives you x as 1. So I understand g of x. It is negative value when x is less than 1. So it becomes minus of x minus 1 for the values of x less than 1. Then at x equals to 1, you get that as 0. And at x greater than 1, you get that as a positive value. So you get the function g of x here. Now what I understand from this is if I want to apply the integrals, I it goes from 0 to 2. So I can split the limits as 0 to 1 because at 1, x equals to 1, the sign of that function is changing from negative to positive. So if I separate the limits, I can take it from 0 to 1 and 1 to 2. dx, dx. Let's write the function now. So your function, the first part becomes a bigger mod, which is with minus x. And the inner function, which we solved for just now, I know when x is less than 1, you are getting a negative value. So it is minus of x minus 1. <clears throat> and for x greater than 1, you're getting a positive value. So you keep it as it is. So you get that as x minus 1. Now, once we have this idea with us, if I solve it, I get 0 to 1 and this becomes minus x minus x. So minus 2x and minus of minus 1 that is plus 1. Plus the limits for the second part 1 to 2. This becomes x and minus x. So cancels out mod of minus 1 which is 1 dx. Now further if I try to solve it, I get the value of i as 0 to 1 mod of 1 minus 2x dx plus integral of 1 which is x. So the limits become from 1 to 2. So if I solve for this, I, I get that as 0 to 1 in the limits mod of 1 minus 2x dx plus if I apply the limits, I get 2 minus 1 which is 1. So you get this entire thing. Now if I solve for this mod, let's see what I get. So if I equate again 1 minus 2x equals 0. I get x is equal to, or 2x is equal to 1, so x is equal to half. Now, let's understand, let's say f of x is this, mod of 1 minus 2x. And the limits go from 0 to 1 because we have to expand this integral. So if I see the limits go from 0 to 1, so if I check for that value, we know for x less than half, for x equals to half, the function is 0. And for x greater than half, let's find out what is the sign for the function. So if I put any value of x less than half, it is going to become 1 minus, let's say if I put x as 0. So 1 minus 0, so that is 1. That's a positive value. So when a positive value is there, inside the mod, we keep it as it is. And if I put x greater than 1, let's say 1. x greater than half, let's say 1 now. So if I put x as equal to 1, I get 1 minus 2, which is minus 1. And since we get a negative value inside the mod, we should multiply it with minus 1 to get a positive answer. So I should multiply this entire function with minus 1. 
So I get this now that my limits of the integrals when it is from 0 to 1, I can split it as 0 to half and half to 1 because at x equals to half, your sign of the function is changing from positive to negative. So if I take that i from 0 to half and from half to 1. From 0 to half, your function's value is positive, so 1 minus 2x. From half to 1, it is negative, so it becomes 2x minus 1. So because if I expand this, I get minus 1 and plus 2, so you get 2x minus 1. So further, if I solve for this, you get that as integral of 1, which is x, integral of 2x, which is 2x squared by Limits from 0 to half, the other one, to x squared by 2 minus x. Again from half to 1. <clears throat> so I get this 2 cancelled out, 2 cancelled out. Further, if I solve this, I get this expression as i equals half minus half square minus 0 minus 0 plus this is 1 square minus 1 so 1 minus 1 minus you have half square minus half. so you have this entire thing and we missed one value here that was we also needed to add 1 after this integrals expansion so we need to add 1 here also. So if you add 1 everywhere, you get this expression turning out. Let's see what this becomes. So you get i as half minus 1 fourth plus 0 or minus 0. So it is 0 only. So it does not make any change. Plus 1 minus 1 is again 0. And you get minus of 1 fourth minus half. So that is the entire expression plus 1. So your value of i becomes half minus 1 fourth, that is 1 fourth, minus, this becomes minus 1 fourth minus half. So 1 fourth minus half is minus 1 fourth again. So minus of minus, so 1 fourth again, plus 1. So you get that as 1 fourth plus 1 fourth, which is 2 fourth, and 2 fourth is half, plus 1. So 1 and half, that is becoming 1.5. Or I can also write as 3 by 2. So I get the understanding that the answer for the question which is asked to us here, that is integral of this entire expression, that matches with the answer choice B, that is 1.5. So I get the answer to the question that was asked to us here, to find the value of this integral and that turns out to become 1.5. So I get the understanding how to solve this type of questions. I hope you have also understood how to solve this type of questions, which mixes the concepts of absolute values along with the ideas of integrals. So first we solve for the innermost function. We found out that x equals to 1 at that value or that limit. Your sign of the function was changing from negative to positive. So we split the limits of 0 to 2 from 0 to 1 and 1 to 2. Further, we figured out that the expression which is left in the first part of the integral 1 minus 2x, I get the understanding again at x equals to half the value or the sign of the function is changing from positive to negative. So I again split the limits of 0 to 1 as 0 to half and half to 1. And in the second part, we have 1 added already. So we add 1 everywhere. Further on applying the limits and solving, we get 0 0.5 plus 1, that is 1.5. So the answer from the question becomes option B. So B becomes the correct answer for the question given to us. I'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic. And we are going to continue our series of questions on 11th, 12th, as well as JEE mains. So stay tuned for more videos to roll out. Also, if you are enjoying these videos that we are doing every day, Please do like the videos on my channel. Do subscribe to my channel and also share these videos with your friends who are involved in the preparation of questions on JEE.
so they can also take the benefit from these questions which we are solving on everyday basis thank you Thank you.